Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So my isolation from quarantine ended like two days ago and yesterday my country went on a lockdown. So it means like nothing is working again, like gyms are closed, everything is closed. So I guess it's kind of isolation is over, but not really. Like it's not that bad, but it's still no, not cool, you know? So I have gathered quite a sum of pieces with inclusions uh, in them and today I will pick one of them or maybe two of them and polish it for my enjoyment. So the thing is I haven't still decided uh, which piece I'm going to polish and you know uh, I have gathered quite a, a few of ember pieces with, with inclusions in them and over you know the last time after the hunting and just buying boxes of raw ember and I have quite few of them and I picked like five pieces let's get them nice and wet and inspect them so we have this piece a lot of going on in this piece there is at least a fly a mosquito and there is like black dot uh, black round thingy which is probably a beetle in yeah the fly is here yeah this is the fly the mosquito is on top somewhere here it is and near the mosquito there is a black round thing I think it might be a beetle this is next piece And what's going on in this piece? Yeah, you see? In the middle is beetle. Let's get it closer, maybe. Yeah, this is a beetle. And on the top... <laughs> this looks like a tick or maybe a spider, I'm not sure. We'll see only after polishing. Next one is this piece, like there is sand from two sides, which I'm not going to remove it, it will be really nice with it. And on top, on top is spider guys, see? <laughs> so that makes it really hard to decide which piece I'm going to polish. This is huge caddis fly in a really beat up piece. Like if you look from top, the head is almost sticking out of amber. Very nice. The last piece is also a caddis fly. A lot smaller caddis fly, but it's like fully preserved. And so it should be also a very nice piece. <laughs> so it's not that easy to decide which one. I want to polish. Obviously, the decision has to be made. I'm really torn apart. Eventually, I'm gonna polish all of them, but which one is going to be today? I think it's either, either the bigger beetle in this small piece, or a spider, or a spider in this piece with the sand. Ooh. Spider, let's go. So everything is ready. I have my Dremel right here. But before we start, let's wait the piece and see at the end, just for comparison's sake, how much size will be loose. The piece is now dry, so it doesn't wait anything additional because of wetness. And... <laughs> I was thinking it's a little bit bigger. It's free with almost half grams piece, so really tiny. Let's get started. Actually, let's get it wet. Where is the spider? The spider is at the top. Okay.
Recently crazy Ember stories were happening. I'm not sure if anyone aware, but from the Second World War, uh, there is like, uh, you know, these sunken bombs in Baltic Sea. Uh, they include uh, phosphorus. And that phosphorus thing is really, uh, really resembles Ember very closely. It even glows like Ember, it has similar structure. I haven't seen it myself, but uh, that thing is very dangerous. Uh, so basically, if you get in close contact with the phosphorus, uh, it can get, you know, a flame. And recently, one woman uh, burned her hands. She was thinking it was a piece of amber. She grabbed it, turned out it was a piece of phosphorus, and uh, she, uh, her hands started burning. Like, not badly, because uh, it was in her pocket. But she still got hurt. So anyone who is looking for amber, be really careful. Like, I myself can be in danger. Like, in real life, I might, uh, you know, distinguish amber from this phosphorus thing, but at night, impossible. The Dremel work is finished, but I have an issue, guys. What kind of issue? Here at the top, where the spider is, there is a hole. That means the spider, you know, can get damaged. Very unfortunate hole. Not a big hole, but I hope nothing happens to the spider. Overall, there is a lot of holes everywhere. You see them? Holes in the bottom, holes at the top. Uh, it's almost impossible to remove the holes without removing, you know, the four, whole part of the ember. But I want this black part to stay here. It will add some character to the piece. So now, I will take my sandpaper, I will do a pre-polish on the piece, and then we will finish with Dremel. Uh, polishing uh, paste. So I found my 600 grit sandpaper. I will be adding lots of water to remove the friction so it will be less scratched, better pre polish. And after 600, I will move to 1500 grit and repeat the process. I'm checking if I finished with 1500 grit pre-polish. Looks really glassy and like it's polished, right? Let's find out if it really is. And how I'm gonna find out? I will check for scratches from all the sides and when it's wet you can't see anything. So I will get it clean. I mean not clean, I will get it dry. And when it will become dry we will see if there's any scratches. Also need to dry my hands because it will get wet from my hands. Let's see. <laughs> Not as glass anymore, huh? These black dots, they are not going to disappear because I don't want to remove too much material from this side. So is there any scratches anywhere? Here is one. Looks pretty good to move to 2000 grit. Except these <laughs> black or white dots, you know? But, you know, we will have to deal with it. And the polishing is done. Let's check it out, how does it look? The shape is very nice, pleasing to the eye, the polish is decent, 
and I think I made the right decision uh, leaving this, you know, sand from top and bottom. But what about the spider, right? What about the spider? Here is the spider. It's a different spider from before. So we are finished, let's see how much does it weigh. It was uh, almost three with a half grams, right? <laughs> yeah, it's almost one gram is missing from the starting point. So it's kind of a lot, I guess. Yeah, guys, so one more piece to my collection and it's a spider, very happy. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, maybe like the video if you like it, <laughs> and bye!